Hi everyone, this is Sagar Shah and I just got myself the Mega Database 2022. Now I open this and there you have it. It has 9.2 million games. It is the biggest chess database that is available there which is which has high quality games. So if you see there is an introduction here where you can read about what the Mega Database has in it. It has 9.2 million games with around 5000 games that can be updated every week you also have player preparation where you put the name of a player and you can prepare against him let's say for example i want to prepare against anish giri i can put the name here and there you have anish and i can prepare against him i also have games database which has all the games in it there is annotated games here which gives you all the annotated games by great annotators like Kazim Janov, uh, Anish Giri, Pragnananda, Adiban. I mean, it's these are very, very high quality analysis that you get in the mega database as well. You also have all the tournament top tournaments nicely sorted, the World Championship, Women World Championship, World Rapid and Blitz, FIDE World Cup, Waikanze, Gibraltar Masters. So if you want to look at a top tournament this is a very easy way to check it out for example the gashimo memorial is currently going on you get to see all the editions oh who won in 2019 you can click, click here uh, you are able to get this entire with uh, stuff about the event with also a summary of the event cross table who won uh, all the annotated games and all the games as well so a lot of things can be found here as you can see Magnus Carlsen had won in 2019. You also have a search tournament feature you can write the name of a tournament in this box and you can search events as well. So these are the things that you have in the mega database. One of the things that I generally do whenever I get mega database is to make it my reference database. So right now uh, I have mega 2021 as the reference database. I'll right click on it, go to properties and make this my reference database. Uh, it's here. So I'll click on it and it becomes my reference database. Now what does that mean is that whenever I open a board and I am searching for a specific position let's say in the Karo Khan uh, here knight c6 and c3 with queen c7 and I click on reference then uh, it will search now because I am I have just installed the mega database for the first time it will create a search booster which takes some time but it's a one-time thing once the search booster is created it will show up the results very quickly so let's give it some time for the search booster to get created and then we can move forward. So after waiting for a bit, the search booster has finally been created uh, and that means that now you can see the games being loaded very quickly. So if you say a move like h3 here, then it has been played so and so times and it is usually very good to create a search booster because it helps it's a one-time thing but helps you to get speed on your searches so now if I see uh, a specific position then I'll see the most latest games that have happened here because the mega database 2022 has been updated uh, until this point now the thing is every week there are new games and for that you need to click on this button new games here which is called the mega update so when you buy a mega database you also get the mega update key here you will see that i have subscribed to mega updates in 21 2019 but not yet to 2022 so i would go here and click on activate subscription when you click on the button activate subscription you already would have received a key here which you need to uh, put and once you put the key in here then 
you just click on OK and it is activated. You can see here the state is subscribed and now I have a few games here of last seven weeks which have not been loaded so I click on all of them uh, I can press control and I can click I, I can click download games as well but I selected these and I click on download selected entries and what will happen is that all these games will be just downloaded in one go so all seven have been downloaded and it asks do you want to append it but if you see or you want to keep a single database now I want my mega database to be appended so I'll go to uh, mega database 2022 here and select it and now all the games will be added automatically to the mega database 2022 now you will see that the search booster is also being completed because once the new games are added once again the search booster has to be completed and you will see here that the games have all been loaded now whenever the new update will come i can do that for just that one week games so in this way you keep your mega database up to date you will see that more games have been added here this becomes a very powerful reference base for your work for any strong player who wants to work on chess this is what the mega database is what they keep on constantly updating and working with it helps you to get all the games in good quality in one place and that is very very valuable uh, generally working with mega database alone is not advisable you usually need chess base to make it work in so i i would recommend that you get chess base 16 and work with the mega database because there's a special search booster for chess base 16 as well and it will help you to work better in the description below i have given links for chess base 16 and mega database as a combo where you can save money and also for mega database 2022 so you can choose what you like this is sagar shah signing off if you have any questions related to the mega database please let us know in the comment section below